everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today I've got a few quick tips for those of us that want to maintain our privacy while we're online. Um, you know, in post Snowden, post NSA, post, you know, all kinds of revelations, you know, there's a lot of people that are worried about the government spying on them. There's a lot of people who are just worrying about all the tracking that uh, that takes place online so there are times when you probably want to maintain your privacy when you're online some people may want it uh, you know 24 7 others you know there's just certain times that you're you're kind of concerned about your privacy in any case got a few tips uh, a couple of methods that sort of thing to kind of help you out with uh, privacy when you're online so one of the first things that you can kind of do is to set up a virtual private network for yourself. Now that's one of the things that I've done and let me go and we'll open up Chrome here and I'll just show you the one that I've set that I'm with. And uh, I use private internet access, which is v, v, uh, VPN service, and uh, you know when you go on their site, it'll tell you you know how it works and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm not going to say I'm not going to recommend not recommend any one particular one. I'm just pointing this one out because this is the one that I use. There's uh, there's a lot of different VPN services out there. Um, all I can say is go and check some of them out and and, and uh, you know see what services they offer and features and all that kind of stuff but one of the things I did like about this was uh, they had a script to install on uh, on Linux based systems so uh, that was nice so you know if you're on their website it tells you a little bit about VPN services and one of the interesting things when you're on the page that tells you how it works if you scroll down to the bottom of the page oh, I passed it up that night there it is it tells you right now that my private information is exposed it gives me my IP address the city that I'm in the state that I'm in what browser I'm using uh, you know all that kind of stuff so just let me show you the difference when I fire up the VPN and uh, private internet access and it does take a, a, a minute or so for it to connect okay it's the service is enabled so now I just come over here connect and it gives me you know a whole bunch of different locations that I can connect from we're gonna say US East give it a minute and let's open a browser and we'll go back to private internet access scroll down and now you know, that is not my IP address and uh, I don't know what that name one I guess is how you pronounce it and it says that I am in New Jersey uh, now it still is getting the correct browser and uh, and operating system um, and the correct screen resolution but uh, you know it's it's not recording my uh, or not giving the correct uh, IP address state region all that kind of stuff so VPN that definitely helps with uh, with your privacy another tool for privacy is the Tor browser and it does take a minute or so for the Tor browser to start up and you can use Tor to go and dig around anonymously online most people have at least heard of the Tor browser but really you know don't understand what it is to kind of oversimplify things uh, the way Tor works is you don't have let's say that you're that you're doing a search you don't have a direct 
connection to the search engine that you're searching with or to the web page that you're going to. The, the signal, so to speak, is uh, bounced off of and run through many intermediates. Uh, computers, also referred to as relays, uh, that are you know essentially all over the globe. Uh, the last reading that I saw, there was there was roughly around six thousand relays. So, you know, they're you're they're running your your internet signal through all these relays. At the same time, everything is encrypted. So, you know, it's really really hard to track down where you are and uh, you know suck some personal information out of you, all that kind of thing. And uh, once again, really oversimplifying things, but uh, you know, just kind of try, trying to break things down to the easiest level here. There are some disadvantages to running Tor. For starters, it's it's slow. Remember, we're bouncing your, you know, using all these inter intermediates, bouncing this, the the internet signal off of all these uh, relays. So performance does take a hit. And let me just do an example here. We'll do a search for LibreOffice and connecting waiting waiting now uh, just a heads up my with my internet connection it, um, it's usually almost instant so you know if you've got a slow internet connection that may not have seemed slow to you to, uh, to me that that is dog slow I'm used to like instant search results so anyway um, you know you kind of see the speed there it, it takes a major hit because of all the intermediates. Um, that's just, you know, it's something you're going to have to live with uh, if you're going to use Tor. The other disadvantage, um, since it is used by the U.S. Navy and some other government organizations, um, and the fact that Tor has been used for uh, uh, animosity among uh, lots of illegal activity um, you may draw attention to yourself by uh, by the US government now if you're using Tor just so that the, the uh, uh, you know the particular websites that you're visiting uh, you know so that they're not tracking you this is probably going to take care of you but uh, like I said you may draw attention to yourself uh, if you know you're trying to avoid the government which uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into that one um, but anyway um, so kind of having said all that another option for you to do I've kind of uh, done it here myself is running a Tor browser while inside of a virtual private network um, you know so you're getting you know even more security so just because we are running the Tor browser or virtual private network uh, or both does not mean that we're 100 percent private, 100 percent secure. Um, you still do need to use a little bit of common sense. And actually here on the Tor browser on their opening page, they've got some tips for you, uh, some pretty good tips there. Before I get started on those, uh, my first one is don't use Windows. I probably need, don't need to tell that to uh, my regular viewing audience since you know this is a, a Linux channel but hey let's just let's just put it on out there uh, Windows is so insecure it's not even funny I don't know that you could call it secure even if you're using uh, Tor browser on top of a virtual private network uh, so having said that let's take a look at uh, their tips uh, of course, says uh, use the Tor browser. Don't torrent over Tor, uh, and that's just because a lot of the torrent software out there de-anonymizes uh, your torrent traffic. And at the same time, if you're if you're if you're downloading torrents, it, you could lose your an animosity or and wow, I just can't talk today. Um, and you can you're you're no longer anonymous for the rest of your uh, your your tour web traffic at the same time uh, they say don't enable or install browser plugins on the tour browser it's set up the way it's set up for a reason 
uh, use HTTPS versions of website. Now, on the Tor browser, and you can go and install it on on other browsers as well. There's the uh, there's the plugin called HTTPS Everywhere that'll force HTTPS encryption uh, on on websites that support it. Uh, having said that, do check you know up in here on your on your uh, browser bar to make sure that the sites that you're visiting are running um, uh, HTTPS security. Uh, don't open documents downloaded through, through Tor while online. Open them up after they're downloaded. Okay, and actually in, the, in, in this thing they're, they're recommending um, uh, that uh, uh, you use it, that you open it in a computer that is disconnected from the internet uh, on a virtual machine or using tails. Another thing I do is, uh, you know, if I want to be anonymous online, I avoid Google search and, you know, essentially anything to do with Google. So, you know, Google Plus, any Google services, any of that, just because the, not, and it's not only Google, but some of the other big, big internet based companies out there, they seem to think that they need to know everything there is about you. Uh, uh, you know, and you know, personally, I don't think they really need to know all that information about me. But anyway, they're they're constantly tracking you, and uh, you know, maybe maybe not. They can get past the uh, the the VPN and the Tor, but I would just prefer to stay to to stay safe. Um, while I'm on that subject, you know, I avoid all of the social media sites when it comes to wanting to be anonymous. I, I operate from the standpoint of if I'm on any of these the uh, uh, anything that I say on or or just being available on a social media site means that I am going to be tracked. Uh, so if I want to be anonymous, I don't do any of that kind of stuff um, at that particular time. And if you notice on the Tor browser, um, you know you you don't have um, Google search here. Let's just put in a search there, and uh, uh, at least as of right now, they're using uh, DuckDuckGo as their as their search engine. And once again, like I said, you, you can see that how how slow it is to uh, um, to do a search. But anyway. Um, you see, they're they're not using the Google search, even though um, I think hands down, uh, from the standpoint of finding what you're searching for, um, nobody can beat the Google search, uh, but it does come at a price. So anyway, that kind of finishes this video up. I said I just kind of wanted to give give some you know real basic tips. Oh, by the way, uh, talking about the Tor browser. Um, if you are on an Archbait system, Tor browser is in the AUR. If you are on a Ubuntu-based system, there is a PPA that uh, Web Update has uh, so that you can install the Tor browser. And I will leave a uh, uh, link to that PPA uh, down below in the video description if you want to go and install it. But anyway, that about finishes the video up. As always, thanks a lot. Thanks for viewing. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Questions, comments, all that kind of stuff, leave it down below. I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. And I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.